Hey YouTube, I know it's been a while, but uh, Crown Jewel 602 coming to you um, with a, another look in the fall series. Um, I call this look Autumn Rust because of course it's a fall look, Autumn, and then I actually use a rust color. So it's just a um, gold in the inside, rust, a little, I don't know, I always call purple plum, but if I knew another name, but it's like a purpley color. And then it's like a deep, almost maroon, deep maroon on the crease, and then a lighter maroon, a little higher than that. And um, I'm wearing concealer and actually a little bit of highlighter on my cheeks. I don't know if you guys can tell. And then a chocolate gloss. So um, if you're interested in how to achieve this look, <laughs> stay tuned. I got you. All right. Hey, guys. Um, gosh, I know it's been forever. I've been kind of busy a little bit. But um kind of in a rush right now. I know, retarded. But um, I want to continue to bring you guys videos because some of you guys actually care about what I'm doing. So um, the look that I'm doing today is, um, I'm calling it Autumn Rust. Autumn Rust, I think. Anyway, all right, to get started, I've already primed my lid with my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And I'm going to... Um, sort of put on a different primer today. I'm going to use my Sheer Cover uh, Concealer Duo. I'm going to be using the lighter side. And I'm just going to put some of that on my finger. And then I'm just going to put that on the lid. And then sort of bring that up. Up over the crease. And I've already got a different highlighter. Um, on my brow bone because it just makes your eye um, eyebrow look so much better. So there's that and I'm going to be using this big fat eyeshadow brush. You guys seen this one before that I got. Um, it's from, it's like Trade Secrets or Face Secrets from Sally's. And all the colors that I'm going to be using today are from my Sephora Blockbuster palette. So, um, I believe that the color that I used, oh, 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 slid off there. The color that I used, um, here, let me see if I can get to zoom in a little bit. Let me fix my lighting a little bit, okay. Alright, and the color that I'm going to use is this one here, um, and then this one's in the inner corner, and then I use a combination of these two in the outer corner. So, just staying mostly in this general area here. Anyway. Alright. So I'm going to take that fat brush and I'm going to be picking up that nice rust color. And I don't know why, you guys already know. I do the middle first. So I'm going to go ahead and pack that in. Pat, pat, pat. Just concentrating mostly on the middle part. And as you can see, I'm just bringing that up to the crease area. Yeah, pretty much. I'm going to be taking my angled eyeshadow. It's a defining eye brush, but I use it for the inner corner. If you can see the angle on that, there you are. And um, I'm going to be picking up that lighter sort of um, camel color, I guess. And I'm going to be going in the um, inner corner. Here. Sweeping that outwards towards the middle of the eye. Blending those two colors right here. As you can see, I'm going to pick up just a tad more, tap tap, and then put that right here underneath, as you guys can see. Now that I have that all on there, I'm going to be taking this medium shadow brush, this one here. You can see that. I'm going to be picking up one of my deep colors. It's like more of the um, lighter plum. And pat, tap. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that here, place it, swirl it, not really moving it, just getting all the colors set in. And now bringing it in like 
see how I can even angle my brush sideways bring that in picking up a little more and this just sort of helps to um, smoke that out also I'm going to pick back up that fat eyeshadow brush with the rust color on it and then I'm just going to sweep a little bit of that rust color underneath and bring that out now I'm going to take a um, crease brush you guys can see my crease brush here sorry about the lighting I didn't even really check it before I did it and I'm going to get windshield wiper motion here in the middle maybe I can fix it a little bit a little better okay so um, and with a let's see what I used here it's a Sephora brush it's like a small smudge brush I'm going to be taking it and what I'm going to do is like I'm going to sweep sweep like this over the pigment that I want so that it mostly gets on this part of the brush I'm going to take that on the deep plum color and see I'm just sort of outlining sort of where I kind of want that and doing um, what Makeup Geek calls the outer V. Bringing that in. Just, it, it's not supposed to be perfect. I know it looks choppy. It just sort of gives me a starting point. And with that, having been done, I'm going to pick up that crease brush again and just sort of smoke that line out smoke it out here at the bottom I have a little bruise on my face I don't know if you guys can see it can be kind of distracting myself with a car door I know what a retard yeah I like the way that looks. And then I'm also going to pick up that plum color that was here and, and just pick that up and bring it a little bit above and smoke it out more because you want something of a transition here. And just going from dark to my skin tone wasn't doing it. Alrighty. And I'm actually going to take the... Um, camel color from earlier with a different just a fat shadow brush and I'm going to use that as my highlight just sweeping that back and forth slightly it matches my skin tone a lot but it does a lot to finish the look there we go and I really like the way that looks and um since this is just like a fall, I don't know, maybe it's more of like a night look, I don't really know, but um, I'm going to use some black liner, just my Urban Decay in Zero, and I don't want perfection, I'm not looking for perfection, and this works great when you're in a rush, and it also helps, you know, when you're putting your mascara on, you don't have to be so perfect if you get smudges, you know, and I'm going to close my eye here, going all the way into the inside. Yeah, and yeah, see, and it just pulls that smoked out corner together. I'll zoom in later for you guys to see. Okay, and then putting some here on the bottom. I didn't think my iPod dock was going to be that loud. Uh, there's no telling how loud it's actually going to be on the recording. So there we are. Easy enough. And I'm actually going to take my concealer that I use all the time. And just a fat like foundation brush. This just works better for me. I'm going to take a little bit of that concealer. And then I'm going to conceal my under eye. And see I barely put any on because I'm really scared of things on my face.
If you have any fallout, you want to remove the fallout, obviously you guys aren't retarded, before um, putting that on. I've been doing good lately with fallout. Oh, and that concealed really good today. It's like the perfect amount to use. And I'm actually going to be bold and I'm going to take a lighter color in my um, concealer, which is the highlight. And I'm actually going to try to For my lips, I'm going to be using this NYC brand. Um, there's a glare NYC brand lip gloss. Um, Kiss gloss, actually. And it doesn't have a name, but it's a nice little chocolate color. And all I'm doing, you guys know I'm easy on the lips, is squeezing that out. Falsies. Loving it. I'm going to go ahead and put some of that on here. Okay. Y'all don't want to hear me sing for real. So excited I'm about to get a tattoo. And I'm going to just really smudge this underneath. I want it to look kind of gangster. Not messy, not heroin, I mean, just gangster. Alright, I'm going to zoom in so that um, you guys can really see. Alright. And that Falsies mascara, I'm telling you what, I don't know if it plays well on camera, but it looks really nice. I'm going to zoom back out a little bit. Alright guys, so that's my finished look. No earrings, I haven't really done my hair. I'm about to do it now. Um, yeah, it's uh, Autumn Rest. Hope you like it. Peace YouTube, till next time. Bye.